Coming up, Wyala Council forced to provide counselling for staff traumatised by social media attacks and a gift card program helping businesses to grow in Broken Hill. Tonight, Wyala Council begins to offer staff counselling in the wake of brutal social media attacks and a local gift card program helping to bring more customers through the doors of Broken Hill businesses. This is Southern Cross News with Fraser Goldsworthy. Good evening. Wyala Council has resorted to offering counselling for elected members and staff in the wake of social media attacks. The Mayor says day-to-day -day operations are being compromised while staff are being left traumatised. It's no secret the last 18 months have been a dark time for Wyala Council. Accusations of corruption and bullying claims have been peddled on social media. Police are investigating a brazen break-in and assault in Port Lincoln. Officers say at 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon, three men described to be of Aboriginal appearance confronted a man and a woman at a home on Brockworth Road. One of the men struck the occupant in the head with a bottle before the trio made off with a wallet and a car. Local area command will become the Barrier Police District. Commands across all of New South Wales have been going through a re-engineering process and Barrier was the last on the list. And it's about engaging uh, with our community. An expo to showcase the latest and greatest in farming has paid the Mid-North a visit. The spa event focused on farmers learning from one another with input from industry experts to boost agriculture production in the region. Guiding farmers to success. Experts from every corner of the country descended on Crystal Brook today to learn the very latest. Quite a range of um, industries, horticulture, grains, um, cotton and uh, livestock as well. After the break on Southern Cross News, a push by the Wyala Chamber of Commerce for local businesses to get involved on a defence expansion in Coltana. Plus, how a solar construction company is looking to tackle dust and glare issues at a proposed facility near Port Augusta. Those stories next. Just days after the Liberals claimed the state election, Stephen Marshall has outlined his plan to improve South Australia. Rate capping and establishing a regional roads and infrastructure fund are just some of the measures to affect our centres. Amelia Simpson explains. Just days after claiming victory, the Marshall Liberal government is chomping at the bit to bring in change. While Stephen Marshall became Premier on Monday, his full cabinet is set to be sworn in tomorrow. Time will tell if the Liberal Marshall government can deliver on these promises for the region in the next 100 days. A solar production company is going public on how to tackle dust and glare issues at a facility proposed for land near Port Augusta. SSE is calling on the community to get involved at a consultation session next week. After ongoing issues with dust in Port Augusta, the last thing residents want is more. Come Monday next week, Stirling North solar developer SSE plans to listen to residents' concerns. In the news ahead, we meet a young Chinese family now calling the Mid-North home as the nation celebrates Harmony Day, plus how a gift card program is helping a business boom in Broken Hill. That's next. A new local gift card program in Broken Hill is leading to a business boom in the town. The initiative has been welcomed by many operators in the Silver City, which say keeping business in the district is the key. Giving a gift to the local economy. And we've been really excited about uh, how well it's been received by the community and the rest of the region. Time now for Fuel Watch. Here's Pat. <laughs> It's been a good week at the Bowsers, with the majority of petrol prices on the way down. Starting with unleaded and Port Lincoln is the first to see green, but still hovers around $1.38. Wyla and Port Augusta have both enjoyed a week of no movement, while Port Pirie is almost under $1.32. Kadena has dropped by a cent and Broken Hill is also down by a cent. Adelaide is still performing well, its price is down by almost 7 cents and currently sits in the high teens. 
to diesel now and it's a bit of a mixed bag. Port Lincoln is one of the rare ones to see red, with the price back up to 138. Wyala is the same price, while Port Augusta is a cent dearer. Both Port Pirie and Kadena are down to 135, while here in the Silver City, we're edging closer and closer to paying $1.40. Adelaide motorists are still paying the cheapest prices for diesel. Their average is around $1.29. Now remember, these prices are the regional averages and they do not reflect any one particular outlet. If you happen to find a spot that does sell unleaded or diesel for cheaper, let us know on our Facebook page. Stay with us after the break. We'll have all the local weather details with Amy Stevenson. And Amy, will the warm days be hanging around the Gulf? Indeed it will, Fraser. However, the Spencer Gulf is set to see a wet and windy change after a warm weekend. I'll have all the details next. Welcome back. The warmer temperatures continued for most parts today. 29 the top in Port Augusta, 25 in Wyala, but it was a cooler 22 in Port Lincoln. Meanwhile, temperatures hovered in the mid to high 20s in all other centres. Checking the satellite and cloudy skies around the southeast, however, it's staying dry. A high pressure system is continuing to keep skies clear elsewhere. If you're planning to spend some time on the water tomorrow, there will be southerly winds shifting southeasterly up to 15 knots. Seas will reach 2.5 metres and the sun will pop up at 7.23. Taking a look at tomorrow's weather and the warmer temperatures will hang around with Port Augusta expecting a top of 33. Port Lincoln will reach 27, 29 in Wyala. Meanwhile, temperatures will continue to range in the high 20s to low 30s in all other districts. Looking towards the weekend and temperatures in Port Lincoln will hover in the high 20s before a wet and windy change on Sunday and 21. Similar rainy and cooler conditions on the way in Cleve and Woodna on Sunday also. Further up the Gulf and Wyala will see some rain on Sunday as well and a top of 23. Port Augusta can expect a hot 37 on Saturday before cooling down to 26 on Sunday. Meanwhile, temperatures in Kadena will hover in the low 30s early on the weekend before a wet and windy Sunday and 23. Warmer temperatures to continue in Port Pirie before showers and 25 on Sunday. Claire can expect tops in the 30s before a wet and windy Sunday. Meanwhile, Broken Hill can expect a top of 30 to close out the weekend. So, Fraser, temperatures continue to creep up again around the Spencer Gulf. However, that wet and windy change will come through towards the end of the weekend. Autumn weather is in full swing. Thanks, Amy. A look at tonight's top stories now. Wyala Council has resorted to offering counselling for elected members and staff in the wake of social media attacks. The mayor says day-to-day -day operations are being compromised while staff are being left traumatised. Police are investigating a brazen break-in and assault in Port Lincoln. Officers say at 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon, three men described to be of Aboriginal appearance confronted a man and a woman at a home on Brockworth Road. And an expo to showcase the latest and greatest in farming has paid the Mid North a visit. The spa event focused on farmers learning from one another with input from industry experts to boost agriculture production in the region. And that's the local news for this Wednesday. Thanks for your company. I'll have updates later. Until then, enjoy your evening. Good night.